Dr. Jane, you just talked about the nutrition, exercise, or also the uh, high quality sleeping can improve the quality of the norepinephrine and dopamine. So except that, is there something else, a chemical we can improve by that? Hmm? When we talk about excess nutrition or high quality sleep or andro stimulants or non stimulants, basically we work on the norepinephrine dopamine. So, like we said, we assume the water level in the river represents dopamine. There's boat in the river, and you are the captain of this boat. So, when you were on this boat, you want to use this boat actually to carry cargoes, passengers, as many as you can, as fast as you could. That's similar like uh, we talk about this uh, patient performance. That's why many people come to see psychiatrists want to improve their occupational performance. Or try to use this boat to teach others how to drive the boat. Well, that's similar to like people in the school uh, to increase their academic performance. Or you don't have anything just for fun, but entertainment. Uh, we call social interactions. Uh, now you can see, as long as you have enough water in the river. The boat will be float above the river, not touch the bottom of the river. That would be enough. So you have more water, does not mean it can improve your performance. You just have enough water to make your boat float it. That would be enough. In order to improve, you pass the car passengers, cargoes, it depends on the size of the boat, how fast the boat can drive. That's decided your personal performance. So in other words, if you want to increase your occupational performance, no different dopamine cannot help you too much. No different dopamine, like the, the one in the river, only can help you maintain your performance about your baseline. And the role, stratera or excess, they really help you to prevent you from below your baseline. When you don't have enough of those chemicals, like the boat touch the bottom of the river, of course they cannot move. That can cause a huge problem. Similarly, is you, you, when you don't have enough open different dopamine in your, in your brain, you cannot pay attention. That definitely will dramatically decrease your capacity, depose your functioning, and impair your occupational performance. But once you increase the open different dopamine to your baseline, then can you improve your capacity dramatically. Improve. But that's you only can help you to that degree. So, but many people argue why they feel better initially is because they feel the change, not as above or below the bar or the baseline. So actually many people realize that when they get better from bad to good, uh, this difference is, is, is significant. But too many people, they have some delusion. Now. They want to get above the baseline. That will not be working. Why? It's because like we just mentioned. You want to increase your capacity, your performance, you have to increase the size of the boat or make the boat faster. That has nothing to do with the water. As long as water in, enough can flow in the boat. So you can see those things have to act has nothing to do with the open dopamine. So if you want to do better above your average, above your baseline, you need to focus on how to choose a career, how to make a decision for the future. So now you can understand, attentive say, attention is a symptom, but not just disorder. Uh, involve a number of factors. Now you can understand, in order to increase attention, improve our performance in the job, we need to use three multi-dimensional integrated approach, like this coin. Actually, the treatment of the attention deficit is really similar like a coy. Stimulants, non stimulants, those medications, so one side of the coin. On the another side, is so exercise, foods, sleeps. But the, the coins have more than just two sides. Also, they have age. The age represents those social factors, your pro professional knowledge. So, those, all those things go working together. That's how you eventually improve your attention, improve your performance. Not just stimulants, not just medications. Uh, so this concept is very important. And I believe these concepts can prevent 
misdemeanor crisis from spreading or out of control. But right now, unfortunately, misdemeanor crisis has started, has occurred for about several years. But once we understand this new approach, then we can prevent the stimulants from spreading out of the control. History repeats itself in this stimulant. Physicians and the patients are both alike, can become the victims of Nick's crisis. Patients can be killed or physicians lose license. So we just cannot keep doing what we used to do. We just cannot responsibly prescribe medications. Especially some patients cannot pay attention. They just ask higher and higher dose of stimulants. For example, immediate release, the maximum dose is 40 milligrams. They can even take 90, uh, 60, 90 milligrams, way above the maximum dose. So that causes huge problem. Many people don't understand. Why do they cause problem? Let me give you an analogy to help you understand. Similar to you have several kids. You have a brain, one child, heart, blood vessel, kidney, uh, you have four kids. You right now, you don't have enough nerve different domain in the brain. So you want to do favor, help your brain. There's nothing wrong with that. 90%, 95% nerve different domain actually is not in the brain. It's in the cardiovascular system. So you want to do favor to your brain. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. But then you will do harm, damage your punch your heart, cause heart disease, high blood pressure, even kidney failure. So similarly, you have four kids. You do one kid's favor, but you abuse another three kids. If you do favor to one kid, that's not a problem, but if you abuse another three kids, you will be getting into trouble, right? Similarly, son, Andrew. You Andrew, you want to help your brain. There's nothing wrong with that. But it will cause problem with heart, cause problem with the blood, like a high blood pressure and kidney. You know, abuse those three kids, so we actually, similar like defects uh, workers, we have to stop this behavior, right? Now, especially right now, people die from stimulants. One of the reason is because they take too high dose of stimulants, or must stop with other stimulants like cocaine meth. Then we'll dramatically increase high blood pressure. Just high blood pressure mostly was asymptomatic. But if we, would, if we continue in high dose, then we'll develop hypertensive crisis, heart attack, kidney failure. That's how people die. That causes a problem. It's because two high dose andro can cause two high dose no different dormant in the cardiovascular system. That is a problem. So that's why we should not go over the maximum dose. That's why many people, I think, this license should be should be suspended. <laughs> that's because that's really too more harm than good. But we know if you just use medications, you cannot realize, you cannot stop or decrease the, the adult. So that's why in the next we will talk about more non pharmaceutical treatment. Thanks for Dr. Jason Jay answering all our, mm. our question today. And don't forget to subscribe our channel so you won't miss Dr. Jason Jay's following video. And thanks for your joining our studio. Yeah.